Hmm, Monster, what's up? Hey there, Vlad, Frank. I'm chilling, I'm chilling, man. Oh, yeah. You seem to be in good spirits, man. Oh, hey, it's crazy. It's our first time meeting. Yeah, Frank, I, I watch your little show on the YouTube all the time. You know, I watch it all the time when I ain't got shit to do. You know what I mean? You, you, you do good interviews, man. That's why I said I have to do this with you. you know? That's what's up. Now, uh, you know, recently, you, you did your little recording with Jazz Mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big recording. You talking about a little recording like I ain't shit. Nigga, you ain't shit. <laughs> you know me like that. But, um, nigga, I don't know you. That's our first time meeting now. But w w what I was finna say... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What I was gonna ask you is, uh, how do you feel about the success of the record? It feel good, man. You know, it feel real good. Uh, like when we sat back there all them days, you know, cause we had to take a few breaks here and there, with you know personal things going on. It just felt good, you know. Each time I was able to tell my story, cause it's just one of them things where, you know, you know when you doing your best work. Yeah, yeah. And, and and it's just it's just coming out real good, but some shit happened to interrupt it. You know what I'm saying? Like like I remember one time, long time ago, long ass time ago. Please don't invest me after I say this shit. It's a long time ago. Anyway, I remember, you know, I was I was with this rap group. You know what I'm saying? They was named Duffer Bag Boys, inspired off of Two Chains and Lil Wayne song. You know what I'm saying? And um. They sold crack. They sold all kind of drugs and shit. And so, I'm in a studio with them, the hoodie. And, you know, we just, man, we just vibing. You know what I'm saying? And it's just one of them good-ass times. And, you know, we was just having fun. And just the middle of that moment, you feel like, oh, man, this feeling will never be decreased no matter who coming here. And I'm telling you, bro, it's the crack house. We making music. Aunties, grandmas, you know what I'm saying, little kids, everybody just a part of this vibe. And we all having fun. And nothing can stop this. You know what I'm saying? It's like, go on now and there, grandma. Oh, trap, rap, trap, rap. Go on and there, grandpa. Trap, rap, trap, rap. We're having a good ass time. And the motherfucking feds come in. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, damn. And uh, I say about three weeks later, you know what I'm saying? Everybody out on bail, and we try to create that same magic, and it just wasn't happening. Just wasn't happening. You know what I'm saying? Um, and and you know, that's been my life experience for the longest. It's like a good ass vibe having a good time nothing can interrupt this here particular moment and some bullshit happened like yeah your brother got shot or yeah your brother interrupting you while you in the middle of having fun you know but it wasn't like that with me and jazz you know what i'm saying it was like we recorded that day had fun then we had to quit it you know uh like i said personal issues you know i don't want to put nobody business out like that i'm a good nigga and um so shit dad frame and um all these different things that was kind of you know going on you know like every interruption we had was kind of like a negative interruption you know what i'm saying it was always like some bullshit you know that interrupted us but each time we recorded man it was fun you know what i'm saying and shit being there with wells mac anthony you know what i mean man i was able to tell a great story that's crazy because when I look at your, you know, your whole interview, I mean, it, it's like no downtime. I mean, it, it's, and I think East Coast, they may mention of that, that you, you know, they realize that you have been here a long time and you've been through a lot. And, you know, they, they were surprised. Yeah, man, I get a lot of email. Like people like think I'm still a rookie. Nigga, I ain't no rookie. <laughs> My age don't tell me I'm a rookie and all that, but I mean, shit, I think each time I do something, I'm always coming out with something new. I'm always doing something new and different and keeping my, you know, work and what I do new. And when you do that, Frank, 
damn. <laughs> damn. You know what I'm saying? It's like you gon' if, if your material gonna always be new when you come out, you can never get old. You know what I'm saying? That's why some of these, you know, artists that come out now, they date themselves. It's like, nigga, you did that track last year. Oh, I'm doing it this year, for this year, for this year. It's the same track, and when it's the same thing, nigga, it get played out. You know what I'm saying? And with me, <clears throat> excuse me, with me, ain't like that, man. Like, I'm gonna always try to do something new. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be gimmick, joke-wise, and if it don't work, then hey, it, it can't hurt if it don't work. You either learn from that and move on, or it work, and you know, you learn how to uh, build and add on it and make it, you know, whatever it is. You feel me, right? Nah, nah, going back to the trap rap, because that's crazy. I ain't know you was in there with them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was you was you arrested? I mean, because you said all of them was arrested. Yep, 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 yeah. They, they, they arrest my big ass, right? And, you know, nobody know about Not even the West Coast know about that. But yeah, they, they, they tried to pin me with something. And I was like, uh, they, they had me in a damn wheelchair because I was so big. And it was just really intimidated. But this show you the police ain't shit. The police ain't shit but niggas with badges. You know what I'm saying? They 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 thought that, oh, since he big, since he since he big, you know, let let's tackle him down. And they they was doing all the tackling on me and all these other different things. I wasn't doing a motherfucking thing. But they see cause of my size, they 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 come push me over, knock me down. Where are the drugs, motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? All these different things. And I remember. I was in that little police office thing. And I say, hey, man. You know, I, I, I told them I was, I went off, man. I remember this like it was yesterday. I say, when I come out, I'm going to come out with more knowledge after this. You see, you think you hurting me, but you making me, man. You making me, man. You making me better than I am. You gonna get to know me. You gonna be coming on my block always trying to speak to me. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna take your burner off my block. See, I ain't had a Uzi with me. You know what I'm saying? But if I had that Uzi, y'all yo, 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 would have had them night them guns out there. He talking about some damn what caliber is the Uzi? Don't 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 worry about what caliber the Uzi is. Just know next time I ain't gonna hesitate. I ain't gonna hesitate. <laughs> that's how I went down, huh? Yeah, that's how I went down. You know what I'm saying? They 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 was mad at that. And I ain't mean none of that shit I said. I damn sure ain't got no damn Uzi. You know what I'm saying? It's just one of them things is like, bitch, I'm finna threaten your ass hard as fuck. And and Everything I'm saying is a lie, though. Wow, wow, wow. So, I don't even know where to go after that. I mean, it's just like as soon as you open your mouth, you reveal something so bizarre and so crazy. Uh, but I was wondering, I mean, you know, with Miss Joe and, you know, the real world Tampa got this big thing coming up Saturday. Oh, yeah, the anniversary. Yeah, yeah, the anniversary. Uh, this Saturday. And they're going to play the whole show uh how, how do you feel about that i mean you know 10 years later uh real world tampa in hindsight the shit blows my mind man you know what i'm saying uh just entering a place you know what i'm saying like and being uh being somebody that nobody cared about you know what I'm saying? And like XTV chewed me up and spit me out at this point. And you know, I just felt like shit. I guess this is the way my career goes, you know, I guess, whatever. You know, when you kind of at the bottom in XTV, nigga, you'll do anything. You know what I'm saying? And, and that was just one of those, uh, I guess, anything moments. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't realize how important that 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 was like shit you know it's just the show where i gotta be me and oh uh, man um I'm, I'm still surprised by it you know where 
it seemed like everything I did in my career, I was always trying to be something. You know what I'm saying? And then this was the opportunity to just shit, be myself. You know what I mean? And that's what worked. You know, all them other times when I was trying to be this gimmick for people or do this this way, I, that, that wasn't what I was supposed to be. I was supposed to just be me. And, you know, years later, it's crazy to see the reception of, you know, what my character got and, and what Miss Joe got. You know what I'm saying? And, I mean, everything about that shit is very special to me. That 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 whole entire year, people talk about 08 and 10 and, you know, all those other different years in XTV West. But to me, 07 is the greatest year ever, man. You know what I'm saying? As far as the material we release on... Um, we was just on point, man. It was a wildfire of XTV West shit. You know? And, and I don't see where you can go wrong with that. I really don't see where you can go wrong with that. And so, when I look back at that, man, I, I have nothing but great memories and a very RJ smile. Shout out to RJ. You know what I'm saying? I, I just can't help it, man. And, you know, if you don't want to talk about Miss Joe, yeah, yeah, uh, you ain't got to talk about her, of course. I understand that, nigga. This is my mouth and then, you know, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, you know, do you still have dealings with her? Uh, occasionally, man, occasionally. You know, we... Uh, before getting divorced, what I didn't mention in Jazz Mall Podcast is, you know, I, I think we tried the marriage counseling things, you know, but sometimes I show up to that motherfucker fucker drunk, tired as hell, uh, or just horny and wanting to fuck that damn sex ass counselor. You know what I'm saying? I just be like, you know, it'd be an office. You know what I'm saying? You know, and it was a six by nine office. It wasn't that big. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, nigga, I don't want to go in this small motherfucker just to talk about my problems. And sometimes, like I said, I either be hungover, drunk, or tired as hell. Or, 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 or you know, all of them. So, go in this small ass room, you know, this prison cell, and they like, you know, my wife like i just really want this to work i love Corey. i know everybody else loves Corey, and you know she'll go in and then it'd be my turn to talk and i just be like yeah you want to know how i feel i feel like getting out this cramped giving ass room you know and i'm saying i feel like fucking the shit out of you in that little ass group you know what i'm saying i feel like doing all these different things in front of my wife that i'm tired of fucking because i want something new i want something new no 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 because no 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 you know what i mean and shit that didn't work you know counseling ain't work and you know i'm being very reflective as i become old as fuck and i guess that's just what i I guess that's just what happens with age but um you know when you don't really know somebody man that shit ain't gonna work you know what i'm saying because it's like, I remember one time we was in, in a damn counseling, and you know, I was like, she was like, the counselor asked, why are, are you guys here, or some shit like that, and my wife was like, she was like, uh, because I don't know him anymore, and I was like, did you, and no, the counselor asked, did you ever know him, she said, yes, and she said, what was he, and she was like, oh, he was such a darling, he was such a this, and he was such that, and I'm like, shit, that ain't what the fuck I was. Shit, I just wanted to fuck your head. You know what I mean? And, yeah, man, I, I caused controversy, man, with that whole role, you know. And, I mean, shit, it just wasn't meant to be, man. You know, hold on one moment. Can I yawn? Oh, it's okay, man, you good. <laughs> Police was called into that motherfucker one time. I'm going back to the counseling shit, sorry. But, um, you know, the had got called and they'll call shit. I just pulled my dick out. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I couldn't take it, man. I lift that counselor's skirt up, you know. 
and and this she was trying to get us to do some type of exercises but but she knew what she was doing you know what i'm saying coming in there with that little short ass mini skirt and shit trying to look business casual but with that i want to be fucked ass skirt on and you know she just kept doing these stretches like let's do a little bit of pilates okay you know and i'm just like they don't give a fuck about no pilates i don't care about that punati you know what i mean so we all doing these stretches and shit and i just couldn't help it i'm like i just wonder if she wearing drawers and i just lift the motherfucker up you know what i'm saying and she wasn't wearing drawers for that <laughs> she knew she wanted to be fucked that day she knew that's why she didn't wear no drawers in that last skirt she want to be fucked be free bitches if you ain't wearing britches and you wear a last skirt you know what you want that dick don't be afraid to ask for that dick and you know, after I did that, it was sexual harassment. We got kicked out of three marriage counseling place. Three marriage counseling place. Yeah, you can't be. Yeah, we got kicked out of three of them motherfuckers, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, cause it cause a needle. You know, it wasn't never her. You know what I'm saying? I like it was just me. You know. In my in my promiscuous ways, do you regret any uh, any of that stuff? I mean, at all? Uh, some of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, when you young, you live for the moment and you live for that now. You know what I'm saying? And regrets come later because you be like, damn, that's why this happened because I did this. You know. But when you young, you just want that thing at that time. You know what I'm saying? And shit, I, you going back to the counselor when I did that shit, I just wanted that at the time. I wanted Miss Joe at the time. You know what I'm saying? And when you living at the time, you ain't living for, you know, the future. You know what I mean? Young niggas don't think about their future. They think about that present. Like, motherfucker, I want my present now because it's a gift bars you know what i'm saying and you know that your whole life is a present you know what i'm saying and and you gotta set up now you know at that point and then until later on and to reach your ultimate goal you feel me but i wasn't thinking like that man i, I was just thinking shit you know what i mean live now nah, fuck miss joe every day you know and you know like i said we got a baby out of that and i love my son you know i love my son but when you break it down you know what i'm saying um, i should have planned for a family and not just to be fucking that girl at that point you know what i mean i didn't expect that yeah i was like damn whoa i got a son you know what i mean and you know like that's just what i mean by that and I hope I'm dropping a few Jews that people can wear and, you know, give the others. So, because I don't want nobody to get in that situation. You know what I'm saying? Because luckily I do love my son. Because shit, some motherfuckers be fucking having kids they don't want to have. You know what I'm saying? Just go off on a merry morning like, motherfucker, you just like your daddy. Nigga, you just like your whack ass mama. You know? And luckily I ain't got no kid like that. Uh, and... But, but I know that that shit could happen. And, you know, you have parents that ain't ready. And what I re wasn't ready for is to be a husband or to be, you know, to be that, uh, to have a baby mama. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, slash fortunately, if I can use unfortunately and fortunately in the same thing, you know, like, uh, it happened, you know what I'm saying, I got a baby mama, and you know, me and her, we get along now, you know what I'm saying, we just keep it brief, and I think that's one of the things that we learned, because shit, we was always arguing, always arguing, because I just be stuck in my, yeah, shut your ass up, bitch, I don't want to talk to you, like, again, just at that moment, I just don't want to hear her damn voice, <laughs> I don't want to hear her, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear your mouth. and But she really, like, want me to understand something and try to nail something in my head. But I'm like, no, not right now. I don't feel like talking to you now. Not now. So, yeah, Vlad, man. So you done had a, 
would you say it's a strained relationship? Nah, man, we just don't deal with each other like that. You know what I'm saying? She in her corner, I'm in my corner. And the only time we go to each other corner is when she get to see my son, which is on the weekdays. You know what I'm saying? She 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 take him here on the weekends. That's why y'all don't see him that much. It was him, you know, with me on the weekdays. Now it's her on the weekdays. And it's a bunch of cart shit. A whole bunch of cart shit. You know. Wow, man. Um, Corey. Uh, another thing I wanted to ask you about is uh, Too Hot. Yeah, yeah. Now, you mentioned on that that, 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 that you all uh, probably fought a few other times after the broken elbow match. Yeah, but they didn't live up to that broken elbow. You, you know, let, let me tell you. Uh, <sighs> Man, you know, I, I'm going to cause a lot of controversy with this. But, but, but. A, a, a nigga with a dick ain't supposed to give a fuck because you got balls. Uh, CAW sucked. <laughs> CAW to me was uh the worst entity to ever enter XTV. You know what I mean? And and, and my reason for saying that is it didn't have a direction. You know what I'm saying? It it didn't serve any real purpose. Uh, yeah, it worked for a little while, but just cause some whack shit worked for a long ass time don't mean it's good. Look how long Vanilla Ice and MC Hammer Rain was. God bless him though. You know what I'm saying? I say that because okay, fuck that. When it first started. It started off as a great idea, as a great concept. You know what I'm saying? But that concept got lost when they was just trying to outdo what was already, you know, okay. Like, it was cool. Broken elbow match. A bit bizarre, a bit crazy as hell, but it worked. You know what I'm saying? Pain versus the shotgun bar. All these different things, they was good. But when you enter into late 2002, let's go there. I don't want to go to that motherfucker, but 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 let's go there. We ain't gonna stay that long. And these motherfuckers say, let's have an interstate match. <laughs> what in the fuck is an interstate match, man? You know what I'm saying? Let's get on top of the interstate and wrestle. When they get that crazy, is you know. <sighs> Like, I'm, I'm still at a loss for words, you know what I mean? I remember when they was talking about it. I thought motherfuckers was bullshit. <laughs> I, I thought they was like, her interstate, man. Them niggas stupid, bro. You know, it's just locker room talk, you know, bullshit. Them niggas did it for real. You know what I'm saying? I think it was best in D-Matic on, in an interstate match, you know? Oh, that shit was ass, man. You know what I mean? It was just horrible. And but anyway, during that same time period is when we had the first ever glass match. It was like a hell in a cell, but a glass shape. You know what I'm saying? And this was ugly. And this was me and too hot though. You know what I'm saying? I remember y'all fighting in a, another broken elbow match around that time, and that was good though. Yeah, yeah, man. but it wasn't no first, man. You know? Understand, man. I think Payne said it best. There's nothing you can do to outdo a classic. You may kill a classic's memory with your current way of trying to do better than the classic. You know what I'm saying? But you can never make a classic more classic. You know what I'm saying? When me and 2 I first met, like, when we first met, that shit was golden. It was magic. Because it was the first time, uh, you know, like a huge SIDE star met a huge XTV star. You know what I'm saying? And, and we crossed paths. And we fought in a very big match. You know what I'm saying? And um, it was one for the ages. You know? But 
So, so you can't outdo that. It's like only built for Cuban links. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you can't outdo your first one. You know, even though I like the second one, Raekwon. But 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 you can't outdo that one. That one was too classy. And I don't think he tried to do that. But anyway. Uh, what I'm saying is. Like. So that match was that big. And it was that monumental and classic. And the second one. Yeah, it was cool. But then it's like. Okay. Let's do a glass match. That shit was stupid. And then it, it, it just got worse and worse. T talk more about the glass match. Uh. You know, to your recollection, even though motherfuckers got put through the glass, and I think somebody even interfered because the match was getting so stupid. Like, I think somebody did a run in. Like, I think it was like that bad. It was kind of like that Buff Bagwell and uh, Booker T match or something. I think somebody like had, I think it had to stop because I think it was that bad, though. It was like, it was really horrible. You know what I'm saying? As far as, like, the worst memories in XTV, um, I'm pretty sure, like, if we do have a list, this shit should be, like, the worst. <laughs> Give me one second. <sighs> it, it, it gotta be the worst, you know. So, would you say the concept of uh, CAW was, was, was bad? Yeah, because we try to, again, we try to live off the title. Like, the title was C-A-W, Crazy Ass Wrestling. That's what it stood for. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so we just try to just make the craziest things. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be surprised if they thought to have a damn, what's the shit called? A mental asylum match with a motherfucker and a mental damn thing in the middle of the match. You know what I'm saying? Like... We just tried to just like really play on the word crazy, and you know, it, crazy became bizarre as wrestling dog. You know, again, in a state match, you know what I'm saying. Look that up on it. I'm gonna try to look it up now. Let, let's see if <laughs> it's an original concept, but it's still ass. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wins, nigga. Y'all all gonna die in a state match. Let's see. Hold on. They got an interstate championship. They ain't got no damn interstate match. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, they ain't even got no damn. Nah, they ain't got nothing like that. You know? Only CAW, man. Nah, you was in the WWE for a little while. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Tell me about entering into that. Well, I started when they did the Team War pay-per-view. You know what I'm saying? That's when ECW, they was doing that ECW, WCW invasion angle. And then they did, they put CAW in there. And I was one of the team captains on CAW. But ain't nobody give a damn about me. You know what I'm saying? I think I talked about that on Jazz Podcast too. Like I just held the hardcore title down. And that's about it. I probably fought Big Show, but you know who cares about mm, versus Big Show in 2004? Uh, and you know it, it was a bunch of different things, and it was just I had a poor showing, man. You know, and it's just like one of them things where you feel like shit. I hit the majors, I hit the big time, you know. But when you there, it's like, yeah, I'm here. I'm I'm at the big event i'm at in las vegas i'm i'm there but it's like ain't shit though <laughs> i might as well be watching this motherfucker from from home like being in the wwe vlad was like being on a field trip you know what i'm saying <laughs> and on a field trip yeah it's like i'm gonna take you to the field trip to wwe you know what i mean and and you going backstage and all this you saying how all this stuff works you know and you saying like Everybody, everything that you see on TV up close and you trying to get involved with it, but you ain't popular enough and you just ain't got a damn thing. And, you know, it was kind of how Super explained Bush Gardens and said they wasn't no Miss Wendy. And Vince McMahon, he was real cool. Everybody was cool. It's just shit. It just wasn't me. You know, everything ain't for you. And that one for me, damn sure what, damn sure what. I, 
I used to try to hook up with them divas. Stacy ain't want to holler. Stacy damn sure ain't want to holler. Um, but, but, but at the end of the day, I, I still was shy. I still was on my type of shit. <laughs> so how did you approach Stacy Keebler, man? I was like, I like your legs. Look at mine. You like mine? And she was like, yours are pretty good. And she gave me that, you know, that very white response. Like, I'm scared of you, creepy nigga. Get, get away from me, you know. But, uh, yeah, I, I tried to hook up with her, you know. Um, but for obvious reasons, my big ass taught my song. You look good. Real good. <laughs> and I want to tear you apart. And your friend, too. You know what I'm saying? Um... But yeah, man, I, that was my experience, man. You know, it's just wild, man. But uh, anything you got coming up uh, that the fans can, can can look forward to? Shoot, uh, a, a few things, man. You know, a few things. I just you can't give shit away. You know what I mean? Everything gotta be hush hush. Because we got certain things, it's just a surprise, you know. Just, just be surprised. But currently, I'm trying to figure out my way into the animation game, man. I see what Killer doing out there. Yeah, yeah, he doing big stuff, man. And you know, I see what everybody out there doing, and I'm just like, damn, how can I get involved in that? You know, I'm, I ain't gonna put nothing out there just to put it out there and rush ideas. I'ma see, you know, how I can enter into that picture. Now, now, are you going to be present in the uh, XTV game? Because there's been rumors you are, you aren't. Let's hear it from the horse's mouth. Definitely, I am. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming now. That, that, that probably was confusion because I was telling some niggas I was and some niggas I wasn't. And, you know, the reason for that is because I was just like, damn. You know what I mean? Like... I think what every XTV star is afraid of is being that one nigga, you know what I'm saying, that was once good before, and then you come in there and you ain't as good as you once was, and I think that's everybody's fear. So, you know, to be honest, that was my fear, and that's why, you know, I haven't made myself yet. It's cause like shit, you know, you spend all that time doing your attributes, doing everything right. And then you go to create a wrestling, you do everything right, and you keep going there to make sure you the best ever. And you finally get out there, and it's your time, you versus whoever, whoever. And you lose, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. That shit is embarrassing for a lot of people, you know? And, uh, yeah, bro, like, 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 that's what uh, fucks me up, man. But I am coming, you know, fuck being scared. That's real, man. Corey Jordan, we did it, man. Vlad TV. Oh, it was good talking to you, Vlad. All right, then.